Okay, so let's get started on our Surf's Up project using warm colors and cool colors. I'm gonna start in the middle of our page, about halfway, and make a wave. It's however you wanna do it. And then uh, you can find something circular in your house to trace in the middle of that wave to make your sun. I used a roll of tape. You can use a lid to a jar, whatever works. And then find something that is straight. It can be the edge of a book, can be a ruler, whatever. Line it up with the center of the sun and then move it around to create the rays of your sun. Now I'm gonna break up the wave into kind of like puzzle pieces, however you wanna do it. And once everything's broken up into pieces, I'm gonna start with the rays here and I'm gonna put different designs, different patterns. Patterns are things that repeat themselves. So I did repeated circles, zigzags, squiggly lines. It really is up to you. It's whatever you wanna do. Just make sure each piece is filled in. You can do geometric shapes. You can do lines that move in different directions, different patterns, whatever works for you. And just keep filling in those spaces until it's all, until there's no more white space, except for the sun. That can be white space. That doesn't have to be filled in. But again, you're the artist. So whatever you want to do, you fill it in however you want, you choose. Now I'm gonna trace everything with a black colored pencil just to get it to stand out a little bit more. So you go ahead and do that. Trace all of your designs, all of your patterns, all of your lines, just so that they will stand out. I'm using a black colored pencil so that, instead of a black marker, so that when I color with marker, um, the black won't bleed. You can see how the black makes um, all those designs you drew really stand out. Looks really cool. Now we're going to use our warm colors and our cool colors. Using the color wheel, we're gonna start with our warm colors, which are red, yellow, and orange. These are what we're gonna use to color the sun and its rays. Now there's no rhyme or reason. It's however you wanna color it. This is your design, you're the artist, you do what works for you. So I'm gonna start with the yellow here. I'm going to speed up the video because you get the idea. Just finding places that I want to put the yellow. And now I'm going to go in with the orange, fill that in. Now I'm doing some red. You can see my, my red marker is a little dry. So yours will, of course, look much better than mine. But make sure all your white space is colored. No, no white space is showing through, and you're just doing every single part of the sun and its rays. Make sure not to use any of these colors on the wave portion of your picture. We're just using the warm colors to color our sunshine to make this sun design have the warm color effect. And now we're gonna do the cool colors, which are green, blue, 
and purple. And I'm going to use those colors to go in and color my wave. Again, like I said before, there's, there's no rhyme or reason to it. It's however you want to do it. You are the artist, you get creative and you design. You want blue in certain spots, green in other spots, purple, it's up to you. The goal here is just to make sure that all the white space is covered. And there you have it. 